men of Reddit, what compliment would you like to hear more often? Compliments that have to do with what feelings you're evoking in another person. You make me feel safe, for example. That's always awesome to hear. She didn't have to say it, but the first time my girlfriend stayed at my house for the night, she fell asleep on me within minutes of going to bed, and she slept the whole night without being disturbed at all. I only know this because I was up most of the night, as this was the first time somebody had shared a bed with me in probably seven years. I appreciate you. Exactly. I work my body off, and at home, general upkeep, yard work, landscaping, and renovations. Sometimes knowing you're appreciated makes it all seem less like a chore and more like a pleasure. It reminds you that your wife or kids know how hard you work and feel happy with you. And feel so happy with you that they felt they needed to remind you how much they appreciate everything you do for them. Sometimes it makes a bad day turn around. Any compliment about my appearance would be nice to hear more often, especially since I've never had one before. I once told a distant co-worker, he didn't work in the same department, going through a divorce. Oh, I'm so sorry, well, you're so handsome, women are going to flock to you. He came back to me days later to thank me because it, it meant so much to him, he's never gotten a compliment about his looks before, and it helped his self-esteem to hear that. Which is wild, because he was actually handsome, and what the heck, his ex-wife never told him? I'm constantly surprised by just how many men are never complimented on their appearance by their partners. My current boyfriend has told me he's never been complimented on his body by a girlfriend before, which is just ridiculous to me. I'm trying to encourage my female friends to compliment their male partners more often. Everyone deserves to feel like their partner is attracted to them. I've been with my wife for 10 years now, so you'd think her compliments on how I look wouldn't have the same punch by now. Nope, I still get all warm and fuzzy when she compliments me on how I look. It never gets old. Been with my hubby for just over 10 years, I tell him he's cute on the regular, I like his butt, a colour looks good on him, I like his hair, what he's wearing. But I also tell him I appreciate him and thank him for doing an extra job I haven't got to yet. I thank him every night for dinner and tell him it was good, I tell him he's a good husband and father, especially as he grew up with an abusive or absent father. And I appreciate him going to work every day for us, I can't work currently and it's not easy financially. I appreciate how he handles our money and bills, always make sure we have enough for what we need and for birthday and Christmas gifts for our child. That I am smart and attractive despite the zits. Coming from a woman, I personally never notice acne. It never bothers me and I've been attracted to guys with acne. So don't worry about it too much. Totally agree with this. As a woman, trust me, we see past the blemishes. We see kindness, supportiveness, your own strength of character, subtle and calm masculinity. I fell in love with my husband when he helped a man in a wheelchair on a public bus. Don't mind the over-the-top masculinity. Being a good person will swoon the ladies and men every time. I'm lucky to be with you. My girlfriend told me this after she lost her job a couple of days ago. It warmed my heart so much that despite what she was going through, she still felt it was necessary to tell me that complete game changer for our relationship. You're beautiful. Can't describe why it hits so hard. I've wondered how a guy would feel if a girl told him he was beautiful. Because there have been times when I've seen a guy and thought, that is a beautiful man. It doesn't have to be a reference to physical looks. I was once called a beautiful person. It's one of, if not the most memorable compliments I've ever received. February the 26th, 2013, in between 2 to 30 a.m. Her name was Sarah. I never saw or talked to her again. I feel safe and secure with you. Anyone held in your arms is bound to feel safe and secure with you. Told this to my partner before we went to sleep and oh man, NGL dude's a keeper. I enjoy the feeling of being desirable. Rather, it's a look or just saying something that shows someone values you and they want to be close or around you. I don't know, I can barely take compliments seriously because I just don't believe them myself, I guess. Woman here, write down a compliment someone gave you on a sticky note and put it somewhere where you will see it several times a day, like your mirror, and it will sink in. It takes practice like most things in life. And just for your information, many women receive compliments on their looks all the time and don't believe it either. They gave to learn to take in good feedback as well. Take baby steps. You may not believe their compliment yourself, but work on believing that they think that about you. You don't have to agree with them, just believe that they think that about you. 
then once you've rewired your brain to believe that they think all those positive things about you, it's a much smaller leap to start believing them yourself. You matter, you're worthy, and you deserve happiness. I hope that one day you can rewire your brain to believe that about yourself. You're attractive. If a stranger were to say that to me, I would be flattered. Seriously, this. Talking with a female friend and somehow got onto the topic of how tall would be too tall for her to date. And she said relatively short, like of like 5'8 as her max because she's only 5'3 and didn't want her boyfriend to be able to rest his arm on her head. I'm 5'11 and my wife is about 5'3 as well. And when I mentioned that the most I can do is get my chin on the top of her head, she said, oh, her brothers are like 6'5 and just tower over her apparently. After thinking a bit, she said to my wife that if she ever wanted to share me to let her know, which I think is the first time I've ever received a compliment like that from anyone other than my wife. And the friend only had a general idea of what I look like because pictures we use for phone contacts are relatively old. I will probably remember it for a long time because nothing in how she said it sounded insincere. Though it also did sound light-hearted, like if my wife said in no uncertain terms never that she would not be offended or something, I don't know. Probably some of the isolation getting to me. Moved across the country a couple of years ago, coinciding with me working from home full time, so I haven't really met many people in our new living area outside of the personal trainer we use. I don't hear compliments whatsoever, but I compliment myself, which is pretty much a depressing way of coping for anyone who's alone right now. Lol. Positive self-talk is always needed even if you do get compliments. It gives you the energy and space to compliment others when you feel good about yourself. A car can't run on an empty tank. Something along the lines of, I'm really proud of you, goes a long way for men. Most of the time we don't care about physical compliments. Most of the time we don't care about physical compliments. I completely disagree with this to be honest. I agree. I have been genuinely complimented on my physical appearance four times in my life, and I remember every single one of them. Thank you drunk girl in the bar, gay guy on the subway, female friend, and a gay guy on the street. I think it's context. Whatever we personally needed the most stands out. OP is probably a decent looking dude that gets hit on frequently enough. You're really sweet. This, but not facetious, as is typical like 99% of the time. In fact, I'd go as far as to say, you're really sweet, or you're so sweet, is probably the one compliment most men have heard, which figures because it's hardly ever loaded with any real sincerity. I like your hair. Well, by that I mean I would rather not hear that it looks bad long. I'm a girl and I love long hair. I convinced my husband to grow it really long. He was the most magnificent creature I'd ever seen. Men with long hair exude confidence, a disregard for the norms of society, and have really nice hair. Men with long and curly hair is an added bonus. Men really underestimate how important hair is in looking good, and long hair goes a long way to make just about anyone who actually washes their hair look spectacular. I really appreciate all the hard work you do to make sure our family has everything we need. Thank you. Seriously, if you are considered essential, then you are really a hero. Thank you for everything you do. You are an amazing, unselfish person. Keep it up. Okay, so I'm not one to beg for compliments or anything like that. However, this page has made my day. If only us men could get these types of compliments more, I think it would positively affect our mental health. We need this on Reddit daily. And thank you again for the vote of confidence. It really is nice to hear. It's really the littlest things with us men. If you didn't know me, I come off as hard. After all, I'm six foot two tall, bearded and bulky, with tattoos and the face that my co-workers call resting murder face. But in reality, I just really want to hug someone. I really do want to cuddle all the damn time. One of my favorite compliments I've ever received was about my eyes. But we are stuck in a world where if you're a guy, we are not allowed to ask for hugs, or to hold or be held by someone. We don't get compliments like girls do. The most we get is, good job, it looks good, etc. So, yes, we really are starved for any form of attention or contact. Again, I'm six foot two, bearded, tattooed, look like I want to strangle you with your child's intestines just for looking in my direction. But a secret about me? I've a pillow that I've had since the age of 15 that I cuddle every single night. Ask for hugs anyway. Honestly, one of the most gratifying compliments to give as well as receive is you give really good hugs. 
Everyone benefits from them, especially if they are heart to heart. A nice reminder to people, you are human and humans need touch. Infants die without it because of lack of connection and serotonin and dopamine help fight depression too. So why are adults different again? Help break that stereotype. I hate the first impression equals expectation. Cuddle bears are often misunderstood and underappreciated. On behalf of who don't understand, I'm sorry. You're missing out on tapping in on some of the hardest working, genuine people out there. People like you are great friends to have around, so thank you for accepting who you are. Besides, gentle defenders are wicked attractive. Despite what is taught, displaying your vulnerable soft side means you're a family man type. It helps people trust you with their safety and to feel more secure with honest and true feelings. Don't forget to advocate for your needs boundaries too. If not, it shows their own insecurities, intimidation, and it's not you. Thank you for being you. You're not fat, you're plus size. Just like some females in this world. As long as you aren't overweight in a way that is very unhealthy, I don't care about what a guy looks like. Actually, the first person I had a crush on was a little on the plus size, but I didn't care because what made me like him was he had went out of his way to help me. I'm still acquaintances with him, and he has a girlfriend who happens to be one of the more popular girls in school. When she first told me she liked him, I thought it was adorable, and as far as I know, they went to the last school dance together. So stay strong. Something authentic, with real conviction. Too many compliments are just given to make people feel good. They don't acknowledge specific, appreciated accomplishments. How many of us have gotten a hundred you're doing a good job compliments from people who don't know what you're even doing? You did that carefully and deliberately. It's obvious you care about doing it right, and that says a lot about your character. Thank you for being so thorough. It's why people consider you a responsible person. I know that was stressful. It was more hard work than I'd expect from most people. I appreciate you volunteered to do it. But I think more generally, make a man feel like a man and his day is made. You can watch him do superhuman feats by making him feel like the doodliest guy.